Hi, um, my name is Jeff Wench with SAS Construction. Um, um, we're a certified remodeling uh, firm out of Chan Hassan off of uh, Park Road and Powers Boulevard. Uh, we do um, um, everything from bathrooms to new homes and uh, uh, complete new home remodels. Uh, but today we're here talking about certified aging in place. I'm a specialist in certified uh, aging in place specialist trained in uh, modifying your home so you can stay in it longer or the rest of your life. Um, making your house a lifetime design can be both uh, functional and attract attractive, making your uh, home more uh, comfortable and enjoyable for everyone in the family, from children to grandparents. Uh, remodeling your home to make it safer, more accessible, and barrier free. Uh, what is aging in place? Uh, remaining in one's home safely, independently, and comfortably regardless of age, income, ability level. Making a house a uh, home for a lifetime through universal design techniques. Uh, universal design was first made, I don't know, probably 20 years ago, which certified aging in place is uh, 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 part of that universal design. But uh, universal design is more towards ADA, more than just uh, aging in place. Uh, use of low maintenance, affordable materials. Yep. Well, it's designing a home so you can um, be accessible in it. So if you're uh, in a wheelchair, so you have no thresholds, no ramps. And that's part of um, uh, certified aging in place, too, is having no thresholds. Because the older you get, you don't want to climb upstairs or uh, go through that. And um, it's, all, it's all connected. And I'll, I'll explain that when we get a little farther. If you like the majority of uh, Americans over the age of 45, you want to continue living in a familiar environment throughout m your maturing years. Uh, statistics. Uh, the 65 and over population is expected to increase around 35 million in the year 2000 to 55 million in 2020. A little scary little uh, statistics once you look at them. Persons born between 1946 and 1965, the first baby boomers will turn 56 uh, 55 in 2001, making them eligible for residents in the age-restricted communities. By extension, the first baby boomers will turn 66 in the year 2012, this year. Uh, today, baby boomers' gener uh, generation number is about 77 million and accounts for 28% of the U.S. population and growing. This is about a million, dollars, uh, million uh, per year that makes a baby boomer in the middle. Let's say, I'm the middle age baby boom in that middle age, middle of it. Uh, stay in your home. Um, according to the Center of Disease Control National Center for Health Statistics, uh, out of 100 people, 21 will have some type of arthritis. Uh, 17 will have some type of respiratory challenge. Five will have uh, orthopedic issues, especially the hip and knee. Uh, just to jump off that, my wife has already had a hip replacement and she's only uh, 53 years old. So, just give you an idea. Uh, three will have uh, residual effects from a stroke, and three will have progressive disease such as multiple cirrhosis, uh, Lou Gehrig's disease, Parkinson's disease, and um, dementia or Alzheimer's. And Alzheimer's, I'm a, a volunteer for the Alzheimer's of, uh, Association of Minnesota. And that's another scary little uh, niche of this uh, aging population. Um, Staying in your home, according to the ARP, 74% of older homeowners prefer to age in place. To age in place safely and comfortably, you need to have a few modifications in your house if, it's gonna, if you're going to stay there and live in it. Uh, community involvement. People whose homes don't meet their uh, needs often aren't uh, as active in their communities. Uh, difficulty in getting around the home may make it difficult to prepare for getting out into the community. So if it's harder to get around into your house to get, just to get to the door, uh, there's a um, statistic that says 
if you can't leave your house, you'll diminish your, uh, your health will diminish drastically just because you can't get out walking, uh, going out in your community, and getting around. Uh, in a uh, proven fact that a person that's, that moves more active, it stays healthier, healthier longer. Uh, a person who is inactive there in, the house, in their house and community sends, seems to decline faster. ARP study, uh, fixing the stay study also found that 50% of older people who say their homes wouldn't meet their needs, they grew older, were almost twice likely to feel isolated. Uh, older com consumers want a, uh, a means of identifying professionals as they can trust. Uh, those professionals need uh, to be uh, reliable, honest, and have training in the proper skills designed and build a safe, barrier-free uh, barrier home. And that's your certified aging in place uh, specialist. Uh, universal design, this is jumping back and forth, it'd be like uh, this uh, sink here. Universal design is a products and environments to be usable by all people to the greatest extent possible without the needs, adaptation, specialization, design. It's used to help people age in place. Like this sink here, if you were in a wheelchair, you'd be able to go right up into it and use the sink. And this refers back to aging in place too. At some point, if you do get into a wheelchair and you need to get in there, this would be accessible to get to the sink. If it had a vanity that had a front on it, you wouldn't be able to roll up, roll up into front of it to use it. It's just uh, this whole idea of uh, aging in place is just thinking ahead for the future of what you might need. Universal design concepts. Um, there's a couple of them here. Just this, all the, this kitchen here. Whoa, this kitchen. Uh, you can roll in up here to get to the sink. Open cabinets, same with here, over here. Uh, the draw the uh, drawers in the cabinets are pullouts. So you don't have to open the doors and roll out. The drawer will pull out and you can come right alongside of it and get your food out. Uh, the oven is l lower than normal. Uh, and the, and the, the faucets too in the kitchen sinks, they don't all have to be in the back. We use granite. The faucet can be mounted to the side of the sink. It doesn't have to, so you don't have to reach so far in the back of the sink that to open the, uh, turn the water on. Cabinets are open, they don't have, the, some of the door, uh, doors aren't on some of the cabinets, so you can reach in. And here's the pull-out drawers here. Microwaves, more and more people are putting microwaves lower. So they don't have to stand up and get it into the microwave. The kids can reach it in, people in, um, that, uh, in wheelchairs. Room entrances, no thresholds. So a wheelchair can come right through. And this is more or less if you're gonna put a deck on the front of your house or you're building a new house. I built a house a year ago and has no thresholds. He was thinking about his, uh, his father actually did move in with him. So the uh, sidewalk's flush with the uh, threshold so they can, he can just rolls right into the house. Accessible design complies with regulations, criteria established a minimum level of design necessary to accommodate persons with disabilities. 32-inch uh, wide doorways, minimum. That's minimum for people to get through. Uh, Half-inch, quarter-inch thresholds. Roll-in showers without curbs. And what we do there is they're called wet rooms now. So the whole bathroom is a wet room that does, has no curb. The floor can get wet anywhere, so you can just roll right in and take a shower ramps, and then grab bars. Um, grab bars, it's just thinking about ahead of time. Uh, we did our bathroom two years ago, and so I got all the blocking for grab bars. I don't need them now, but I might need someday. But the backing's there, so you can put them in there. So they're reinforced, so you can hold your weight. Just thinking ahead. Adaptability is design concept developed to address problems, individual differences, and changes in capability over time. Um, you know, like light switches. It, it, you know, I don't know whoever came up with the idea that light switch should be at 48 inches or four feet off the ground. But it doesn't have to be. There's no code that says it has to be 48 inches. So just lowering the light switches a foot so kids can uh, adapt to it and older people that get older in the wheelchairs or walkers, they don't have to reach so far up just to uh, get the uh, plug-ins. Same with outlets. Outlets are usually 16 inches off the floor. 
there's no code that says it has to be 16 inches off the floor. So we raise them houses about two feet somewhere in that neighborhood so it's easier to get at the outlets to plug in for people in uh, wheelchairs or as they get older and walkers and stuff like that. A rail like this actually only takes about two hours to install something like this into your house. And then you don't have to walk up and down the stairs. That varies from where you get it from, but um, you know, actually, you can rent them, believe it or not. They come out and put it in, and when you're done, you can go and, and they'll take it back. Elevators, now, not everybody's gonna throw an elevator in their house, they don't have the room. But if you do. <laughs> and ramps. Um, you know, it depends how much room you got to put one in. Um, ADA ramps, so they can get up in wheelchairs. Now this, this is a, a ramp like this. You pull up on, onto it and it's actually electric, lifts up and you go off to the side. If you don't have the room, that's the alternative right there. And I think last time I looked at one, it's about three to $4,000. Living dining room areas, creation of a multifunction first floor master suite. If you're thinking of putting a first floor addition and it was going to be a, a master suite, we just did one in Minnetonka and it was a bump out in the back on the first floor and it, it wasn't designed for a master suite, but her, she's thinking about her, uh, her parents will be moving in with them. It's got a separate, separate bathroom, uh, separate uh, laundry area form, and the room's big enough for the, uh, the bedroom and it's all one level. It's just thinking what you're, what you're gonna do in the whole scope of everything ahead of time. So um, it's like levered door handles. I mean, everybody puts wrong door handles on. There's no purpose for that. They can use lever handles and when you get older, when you get arthritis in your hands, it's so much easier to use a lever on the door handle than trying to turn on the wrong knob. And then washers and dryers, they don't all have to sit on the floor. I mean, they're up off the floor, so a person with a wheelchair can come in and open the door up without bending over or walker. Uh, kitchens, adequate turn space. So this one is in a wheelchair, so she can roll right in, get up close. Uh, plumbing's protected, uh, roll under sinks. Actually, they make, uh, now they got kitchen sinks, you can, it's adjustable. So when you go up to it, you can adjust it for the height you need it too. And they make countertops the same way. So if you're thinking about remodeling a kitchen and you're gonna get older, just think about them concepts for your future. Adjustable, varied shelves. Now this, this one right here, you pull out and actually drops down. It comes down to the countertop height. And all you have to do is push it back up, and it goes back up. Accessible baths have significant knee space. You don't have to have vanities. In my bathroom, we just remodeled here. You can roll right in. It's got vessel sinks on top. And then, like, see this faucet's in the back? It doesn't have to be there. It can be mounted over here. So it's easier to reach from a wheelchair and levered faucets. You don't have to have round knobs. Use the levered faucets. It'll be uh, easier when you get older to grab it for arthritis and stuff like that. Low mirror, they all don't have to be up because you're standing up. It can be a lower mirror in there too. Counters the same way. You know, now they're even getting it higher. Now they want 36 inch counters and vanities. Most people, you know, today it's 36 inches. Well, if you're in a wheelchair, there's no way you're gonna uh, be able to get at that or grab bars again. And here's, this is called a wet room. This whole room can get wet. It doesn't matter where you are, the water is going to get wet because it's just like a giant shower. So you, or you're in here, you can sit in here on your chair, shower, uh, stool, and still walk over here and get wet over here. And uh, the laboratory you can roll underneath if you're in a, um, a wheelchair. ADA wall hung toilet. So you just roll right over it. And of course, grab bars all around. 
this is just an idea if you are planning on staying in your home and you're planning and you're going to live there for the rest of your life, that's what you want to do if you're going to remodel your bathroom. These are um, a couple cheaper ways of doing so if you got the round handles now, they sell these. So they go into the round handle to make it lever. But handles today are so cheap, the lever handles, it's easier to just switch them out. The round ones, it's got a, a fin sticking out of it so you can grab it easier. Uh, the thermostat, big letters. So you can see them. The people has, uh, you know, um, macular degeneration or anything like that. It's the older, our eyes get weaker. And then they talk about the light switches. They don't need to be 48. Electrical outlets can be higher. Uh, alarm systems, uh, lighting systems. You can have it so when you come into a room, you can have a motion sensor that turns on the lights. You don't have to have a switch at all. Caps designation. Uh, who can uh, you rely on to modify your home? Certified aging and place specialist. Has been trained in the unique needs of the older adult population. Aging and place home modifications. Correct installation of assistive devices, solutions to common barriers, common remodeling projects. Uh, CAPS designation. The CAPS designation is a reliable way to identify professionals to modify your home, develop and administer by the National Association of Home Builders, endorsed by ARP. Uh, media recognition. CAPS has been featured in national news and now these other medias here all over. Certified Aging in Place Specialist. Before you modify your home, remember you're always trying to buy a service rather than a product. No matter where you start in the process, you'll eventually need to hire a professional remodeler to make modifications to your home. You can do them yourself too, you don't need a remodeler. Before you modify your home, ask yourself these questions. Do I want to add a bathroom? possible bedroom to the main level. How can I make my kitchen more functional as you age? I'm, uh, I'm worried about preventing falls. Um, just to go over that, uh, they said the contrast between um, like your countertop and your cabinets. If you do um, say uh, your floor is dark, you don't want dark uh, granite tops because you, you won't be able as you age, you won't see that definition change. So you'd rather put it like a white marble on for the countertop. So when you come to that edge, you can actually see it. And I don't know why they put that in there. Will remodeling increase the energy efficiency of my home? <laughs> uh, before you modify your home, will other members of the family benefit for the future of the modifications if you have your parents living with you or someone else that is uh, ADA? Uh, will visitors, loved ones, or friends benefit? How much money can I budget for this project? Will I need to get a home equity loan? Or whatever today is reverse mortgages. Home modification checklist, calculate your budget, seek referrals, contact uh, trade associations, verify their modeler's references, look for professional designations, Check with your local state office and consumer protection, Better Business Bureau. Uh, ask your professional remodeler for a written estimate. Uh, select a professional remodeler. Where do you find a professional that can uh, confidentially uh, consult about your aging in place needs? Uh, the www.nationalassociationforhomebuilders.org uh, designations directory will have everybody that's listed there. My name will be under it, under SAS Construction. Other guys for the other companies will be listed too. So if you want to look under like one uh, remodeling firm, their name should be under, uh, underneath that if they're uh, designated uh, aging in place. Make your house a home for a lifetime. Um, hire a certified aging in place specialist. Uh, like I said, that's we're all Chan Hassan. Just simple things. Um, grab bars, 
as you age, you'll need support to get down in here. Shower here, this is all backed out ready for uh, uh, grab bars. Now these here, these actually open and you can go underneath it to get at the uh, sinks. And here we have grab bars here, adjustable, uh, adjustable shower head, so you can adjust it if you're in a wheelchair or you need to sit down and shower. This is the same one, just around the corner. That's it. Got any questions? No? <laughs> that makes my job easier. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you.